hailing from the picturesque country of Scotland, Andy Murray has left an indelible mark on the tennis landscape. Over the years, he has etched his name into the annals of tennis history by achieving feats that only a select few have ever accomplished. Through his perseverance and sheer determination, he stacked up against the greats like Roger Federer, Rafael Nadal, and Novak Djokovic. However, like any athlete, Andy has faced his fair share of challenges both on and off the court. Injuries have tested his resilience, threatening to halt his illustrious career prematurely, but he has proven himself through a strategic brilliance and dominated the world of tennis. So, let's dive deep to know how good Andy Murray actually is. Andy Murray was born on May 15, 1987 in Glasgow, Scotland. Tennis seemed to be in his genes from the very beginning, as his mother Judy Murray was a professional tennis coach, so he got a supportive environment to grow. Andy's interest in tennis started out at a very young age, and he showed remarkable talent even as a kid. He began playing tennis when he was just three years old, and it quickly became apparent that he had a natural flair for the sport. He used to hit balls against the wall of their home, which his mother later converted into a small practice area. Andy's entry into the tennis world was nothing short of impressive. He turned professional in 2005, and his talent and hard work quickly caught the attention of the tennis community. In 2004, he won the Junior US Open, showcasing his potential even before joining the pro circuit. His breakthrough moment came in 2008 when he reached the finals of the US Open. Though he lost to Roger Federer, it was a statement of his competence on the big stage. The following year, he made it to the Australian Open final, but again he faced Federer and lost an epic battle. However, the perseverance of the Scottish tennis sensation paid off. In 2012, he won the US Open, defeating Novak Djokovic in a thrilling five-set final. It was a historic moment as he became the first British man to win a Grand Slam singles title in 76 years. But he didn't stop there. In 2013, he achieved another milestone by becoming the first British man to win Wimbledon since Fred Perry in 1936. The Big Four era, which spanned roughly from the mid-2000s to the late 2010s, featured four tennis superstars who dominated the men's game. Roger Federer, Rafael Nadal, Novak Djokovic, and of course, Andy Murray himself. During this era, these four players consistently occupied the top spots in the rankings and won the majority of Grand Slam titles. They pushed each other to new heights, resulting in some epic and fiercely competitive matches that thrilled tennis fans worldwide. Andy Murray's rivalry with the other three members of the Big Four, particularly Jokovic, Nadal, and Federer, was a defining aspect of his career. He had some memorable battles with each of them, and his tenacity and skill on the court made him a worthy adversary. In 2012, during his Olympics held in London, Andy had one of the most significant moments of his career. He captured the gold medal in men's singles after defeating Roger Federer in the final. The victory was particularly sweet for Murray, as it took place on the hallowed grounds of Wimbledon and it was a testament to his incredible talent. Andy's breakthrough in Grand Slam tournaments also came during the Big Four era. He won his first major title at the 2012 US Open and followed it up with a historic Wimbledon victory in 2013. These achievements solidified his status as one of the best players of his generation and a significant force in the tennis world. Throughout the Big Four era, Murray consistently challenged for Grand Slam titles and reached numerous finals and semi-finals. Despite the dominance of Jokovic, Federer, and Nadal, he managed to carve out his own niche and establish himself as one of the top players in the world. For several decades, British tennis fans eagerly awaited a male singles champion at a Grand Slam tournament. The last British man to achieve this feat was Fred Perry, who won Wimbledon in 1936. The pressure to end this long wait for a British champion was significant, and Andy Murray faced immense expectations from his home country. Every time he competed at Wimbledon or any other major tournament, the hopes of an entire nation were with him. Finally in 2012, Andy Murray brought an end to the British drought at the US Open. He defeated Novak Djokovic in the beginning, claiming his first Grand Slam singles title. This victory was monumental, not only because it was his first major title, but also because he became the first British man to win a Grand Slam since Fred Perry's victory 76 years earlier. But Andy didn't stop there. In 2013, he achieved an even more extraordinary feat by winning Wimbledon, 
once again facing Novak Djokovic in the final. This victory made him the first British man to win the Wimbledon singles title in a staggering 77 years. Andy's triumphs at the US Open and Wimbledon were pivotal moments in British tennis history. He earned a special place in the hearts of British fans and they elevated him to the status of a national hero. Andy Murray's career has been plagued by struggles with injuries and setbacks. Despite his tremendous success on the tennis court, he had endured numerous physical challenges that have tested his resilience and determination. One of the most significant setbacks in Andy's career was a recurring hip injury that began to trouble him in 2017. The hip issue gradually worsened, affecting his mobility and performance on the court. Despite trying to manage the injury through rest, rehabilitation, and medical interventions, it eventually became clear that surgery was necessary to address the problem. In January 2018, Andy underwent hip surgery, hoping it would alleviate the pain and allow him to return to the sport at his best. However, the road to recovery was long and difficult. He faced setbacks in his rehabilitation, and it took much longer than expected for him to make a comeback. Finally, in mid-2019, Andy made an emotional return to tennis. He played his first competitive match since undergoing surgery at the Queen's Club Championships, and the moment was met with a standing ovation. Despite being visibly emotional after the match, Andy showed that he still had the heart of a champion. Andy Murray's life off the court is just as interesting as his on-court achievements. Beyond the tennis courts, he's a down-to-earth and relatable person with a mix of passions and pursuits. Andy is an avid fan of football and a die-hard supporter of the Scottish Hibernian Football Club. Despite this, Andy's sense of humor is another delightful aspect of his personality. He's not afraid to poke fun at himself and engage in playful banter with other players. Well, family life is essential to Andy, and in 2015, he tied the knot with his longtime girlfriend, Kim Sears. The couple's relationship has been a source of joy for them and their fans. They have two daughters, Sophia and Eddie, who have brought even more happiness and balance to Andy's life. Interestingly, Andy is also known for his love of dogs. He's a devoted owner to his two border terriers, Maggie Mae and Rusty. You can often spot adorable pictures of him spending quality time with his furry companions on social media that highlight his softer side. Andy's net worth is an impressive $165 million, with career earnings reaching a staggering $61,199,017. He boasts lucrative sponsorships with Standard Life, Head, Rado, and Jaguar. Notably, he recently signed with Castor, proudly supporting their clothing on the tennis court. His endorsements and business ventures have secured him a well-deserved spot among the wealthiest athletes in the world. Beyond sports and family, Andy is also passionate about giving back to his community. He's involved in various charitable initiatives and foundations, supporting causes close to his heart. His commitment to helping others and making a positive impact on society is truly remarkable. As a fan, it's heartwarming to see the human side of this tennis legend, and it's no wonder he's adored by people both on and off the court, and his legacy is going to stay unmatchable in the history of British tennis.